<laughs> All right, thanks, Ken. It is time now to create with Quimby. And this morning, we're hoping to add some flair to the front door area of your home. Mm -hmm. Always good to make a first impression, right? As you welcome guests back into your home, this elegant wooden doormat uh, would make quite the first impression. Some front door flair. I like it. It's cool. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. All right, so to show us how to make it is our DIY queen, Shannon Quimby. Good morning. Good morning, gals. How are you? Oh, good. How are you? Good. This is impressive. It is. Oh, Ooh. yeah. And guess what? It's really easy too. Okay. Cool. It's, it's really easy. So the first, so I got it right here. Here's the one that you just saw in the photo. The first thing you need is you need the lumber. And the best thing about it is I go to par and these are one by one and a half by one and a half squares. And you can get it anywhere from three feet to 16 feet long. This takes a total of 34 feet to make this. And this size of this doormat is a two by three. Okay. 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 All right. So you get the wood and then you take, uh, and you got to cut it up into 17 pieces. You can use a miter saw that, which is also called a chop saw, or as I always say, you can ask a neighbor or you can go to par for help. Okay. okay. They'll cut it for you before right. you leave. If you don't, if you don't have a saw. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, definitely. So now you got 17 of these and then you want to take a pencil and a tape measure and you want to mark three inches from each end and you want to make a dot. Okay. So it goes right here on this end and then also on that end. Mm -hmm. All right. On, on each one, on all 17 of them, okay? That's easy, you got it. Yes. Then you take the drill and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna drill into that dot all the way through on each side. A pilot hole, okay. okay. Yes, Jenny, good for oh, you. Up I, know. <laughs> I know my terminology. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. So you do that also on all 17 of them. So you're going to create two holes like so. Okay. okay. Now, after it's cut, these edges might be a little frayed and also in the holes. So you just want to take a um, sandpaper and just kind of, you know, go around the edges, get rid of any of the fuzziness, any of the fraying from cutting the wood. Yeah, okay. Smooth it all out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, because after, even after you stain this and seal it, you want it to feel nice and smooth if you have bare feet. Right, right. That's okay? a good point. Then, yeah. Then uh, dust off all the um, dust that you created from the sanding, mm -hmm. like so. Very easy. Then you want to stain it. Okay. So I like to use, I've got this um, dark walnut. Now you can use any color of stain that you like to color coordinate. You can even use a clear if you like the grain color of the wood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now does so, this need to be like an outdoor, all weather, weatherproof kind of stain? Not really, no, it doesn't. Because um, what you do afterwards is then you seal it, oh. okay, with a sealant, oh, which okay. I, this is what I have right here is I use this polish, all right. a conditioner polish. You okay? probably could buy yeah. like an outdoor one though, right? And you don't have to do that then or? You could, yeah. you could. I always like to seal it. Anytime I do something outdoors, especially something that you, this is having a lot of foot traffic, uh, yeah. it's always okay. bad, you know, yeah. extra okay. protection. Yeah. Okay. okay. So oh, that's really pretty. You do this all the way around mm -hmm. and then also on the corners mm -hmm. and then you wipe off the excess. Okay. All right. And then you get them like this. You get a whole bunch of them like so. Uh huh. Now you get some braided rope. You can get this at any hardware store and you want about um, six feet. Okay. And you cut it into two, uh, two lengths of six feet each, excuse me. And then tie a knot mm -hmm. on each end like that. Uh -huh. yeah. This is a little fun trick. You know when you try to thread something in a yes. hole and it, the, it gets all jammed up? Right. Yeah. Okay. Take some painter's tape and you wrap it around the corn at the end of the oh, other end. Oh, that is that's so tip. smart. Like that. And then it's so easy yeah. to thread. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Shannon, that's oh why my you're gosh. the queen. Okay. That's why I'm the queen. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have thought of that. Seriously. It's like <laughs> an oversized needle. Yes. Do all the stuff. Can we do yeah, that sewing. Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. Exactly. exactly. So. Oh, how cool. Oh, and you start threading. Step. Okay. Yeah, so basically, yeah, you're just kind of adding, you know, you're beading. Yeah. So you take, uh -huh. I take these hex nuts, these are 5 sixteenths, and you can see I've already started this, 
and I put two. I like to have two in between. I like it gives enough separation. A little space, you know, yeah. The and okay. you basically just start building it up on each end, and you do it how many times? 17 times because you have 17 of these. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. So and awesome. hey, Shannon, real quick, you are actually going to uh, be giving away a couple of these doormats on, on social media? Yeah. yeah, we're definitely, we're giving this one away. So okay. you can go to Parlumber's Facebook page and to get all the details. I know I don't want to give this one away, but <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. I love awesome. it. This is a super cute idea. It is. I, I'm Shannon. I did one of your last ideas. I think I'm gonna. You did do the this jewelry holder. Too. Is this one on your list now? Yeah, it is on my list. There yeah. You go. Yes. It looks yeah. very doable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank Fun you, Shannon. Stuff. All right. Hey, thanks as always. You're Another great project. Okay, and if you want the list of materials, Shannon's step-by-step -step instructions, we'll have all that posted for you on Coin.com. Just click on AM Extra, and then go check out Par Lumber's Facebook page for that giveaway. Yes. Kind of cool. Uh huh. All right. Coming up, Lord opening up about why she left social media. Also, we'll find out about the singer's experience without it. That's coming up next on 105.1 The Buzz.